Hello guys, HackerCop here and today I'm going to show you why your custom track is not working and how to fix it. So we're going to use Weems SLS tools to diagnose a problem in our custom tracks. We've got a custom track here. This is my Bowser's Gothic Castle. I'm going to go to the address bar, type CMD, hit enter, and then type Weems SLS tools, check, and then the name of our file. So I'm going to take, press V and then press tab and also fill it for me and press enter. And now we're going to go through all this means and deal with warnings that could cause problems in our track. Basically the strategy really to fixing your course is just to go through this. Find warnings and eliminate the problem which is what we're going to do. So the, this problem here, this is my, my portjogon.bref file. This one, this particular warning does not matter but most other warnings will cause problems. So it's important to look into those. General ones with warnings with Lee code. Those don't matter so much, but warnings about missing files and cannot find files, so those are the ones you really need to deal with as they will be causing your black screen. So the first thing you need to know is that if your track is black screening, that is generally a lot easier to fix than problems in gameplay, such as CPUs not following routes. So we'll start with black screening. So the most common reason your track will be black screening is because the game cannot find the required files. So you start off, you need these files in your custom track. We can check the here by heading up to the command line again, typing Weems LS tools extract. Or can of SDS. And we can see I've got all the files required, the mandatory files here. And the other reason, so if you don't if you don't have one of those files, it will probably crash. Also, your course model.brez must have your 3D model here must be named course. A lot of people forget that. It must be named course. If it's not named that, then we won't be able to find the model and it will also crash. The other reason why your custom track can crash is that your KMP file cannot find a required Brez file for it. So with your KMP file, you have different objects that are used, rendered in gameplay. And if you take a KMP from somewhere and don't delete the objects or don't put them in, then it will cause a crash. So here I've got all the objects. It's not showing a warning, but you'll get a warning here saying warning or down here cannot find appropriate file in this directory and what you need to do is either add that in or go into your KMP file open your KMP with KMP cloud slightly better than Lorenz's KMP editor for this instance go to objects and make sure with your objects that you have the required files in here so if I had using like this to go to a KMP from somewhere else and I don't have the objects then I can delete this by going to just delete. You best off starting off when you're making a custom track, deleting all of these and then adding them in as you go. Next up we'll cover KCL, which is also another common problem. So your KCL, here you can see 887 of these triangles are face down, are unusable, which is not good, but that's still fine. But if your KCL is anything like all your triangles are face down, you'll probably get a warning by that point then that means your KCL isn't valid and that could either be because your normals are the wrong way around or because your KCL file is below the XY plane which will force a respawn. That's also how respawn loops can be created. We'll also just cover scale quickly which is that your track must have the obviously appropriate scale of road to be into like 2000 game units wide. If you're driving you're stuck in a respawn loop and you just can't see your track, chances are you're either below the track, you're spawning there and you need to edit your KMP file, or your track scale is completely off. If you're stuck in a respawn loop, it may be that your start position is invalid. Was also we'll just go through that quickly if that's the problem. So you can see I would start here, but if this was completely off, such as if it was here, then I could have problems, I would respawn the lava and it could, so it's very important to get this right and it could also be something like the rotation could be off so if the rotation is something like this if it's something like that on your track then it could be that I start here in 12th place and get stuck in a respawn loop point there so when you're making your tracks, important to get this right but also to get your respawn points make sure they're in the correct positions as well 